Good evening, everyone. My name is Tracy Hahn. My um, top three strengths are harmony, empathy, and developer. And hello, my name is Jan Hushka. My three strengths are achiever, positivity, and responsibility. Jen and I have spent the last three months learning what a true gentleman is. A true gentleman doesn't just pull out your chair for you. A true gentleman considers all others before himself. A true gentleman never lets you want for anything. A true gentleman always provides strengths for others. Please welcome our true gentleman, Josh Alters. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. My name is Josh Alters, and I stand before you tonight as a Kansas Special Olympic Global Messenger. The road here has been bumpy at times. My story began on September 5th, 1976. The early days were tough as I had what the doctors called failure to thrive. I weighed seven pounds, 13 ounces at birth but lost a lot of weight and couldn't gain it back. I had colic 24-7 and wasn't able to keep food down. At six months of age, my pediatrician sent us to the University of Kansas Medical Center to be evaluated by the genetics department. At that time, I was diagnosed with Williams syndrome Williams syndrome was first described by Dr. J.C.P. Williams of New Zealand in 1961. I was one of 100 Williams syndrome cases in the world in 1977. Williams syndrome is a genetic disorder that affects 1 in 8,000 to 1 in 20,000 infants who are missing about 25 genes in the seventh chromosome. It is also known as the pixie or elfin syndrome, mainly due to the facial formation and features that we share when we are younger. Williams syndrome patients can also have learning disorders, mild to moderate intellectual disabilities, among many other symptoms. The next four and a half years of my life were spent with some very wonderful and caring people at the Infant Development Center at Shawnee Mission Medical Center. There were teachers, speech therapists, physical and occupational therapists that worked with me for four hours a day, three days a week for that period of my early life. The main focus besides speech was retraining my brain with a lot of exercise. I had no reflexes. My gross and fine motor skills needed lots of work. I needed to learn to reach, stretch, and react to my surroundings. In these early years, my dad, mom, and grandma have spent what seems to be a lifetime on this physical therapy. First grade began my speech special education, education experience. At that time, I was placed in the TMH Trainable Mentally Handicapped Program, which was a good experience. My teachers were very supporting, caring, and dedicated. Later in my school years, despite being bullied in middle school and some in high school, I survived. To quote Kelly Clarkson's song, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. My Special Olympics career began at the age of eight with Leavenworth County. I had many coaches, parents, and friends who cared for and supported me. I still see some of them as I have traveled to different events. My family moved to Topeka 13 years ago where I joined the Topeka Shawnee Special Olympics group. All totaled, I have enjoyed Special Olympics for 28 years. I have enjoyed playing many different sports over the years, including swimming, golf, bocce, basketball, volleyball, bowling, and track and field. In, in 2006, I was honored to be selected as a Kansas Special Olympic athlete 
to the first United States National Games in Ames, Iowa. I was on the aquatics team and brought home a gold medal in the 50 meter freestyle and a silver medal in the 100 meter freestyle. I made a lot of new friends. We supported each other. When the six of us started this global messenger, we were tested by a company to find one strength or theme we naturally think, feel, or behave. My strengths are caring, simply helping others, relating, keeping friendships for a long time, dependability, being responsible and trustworthy. I have enjoyed Special Olympics and have tried to be a good role model for them. I have used my strengths to make friends and to participate in and promote Special Olympics. A few events that I have participated in are the 25th Anniversary Law Enforcement Torch Run, the Legislative Shrimp Peel, the Kansas State University Sports Day, and the Wilt Chamberlain Basketball Clinic at the University of Kansas. My resume is growing with each season and I am proud for the Global Messenger program to be the newest addition. As I told the story of my life, you may have noticed that through it all, it has been supported and loved by my family, coaches, volunteers, and friends. These people have helped me, helped me, helped get me from point A to point B. It is said that it takes a village, sometimes a lot of villages. Because of these people, I don't feel disabled, only different abled. I would like to thank my mentors, Tracy and Jen from American Girl for their help and support and all the ladies from American Girl Doubletree Hotel in Mattel. Thank you to Special Olympics Kansas for honoring me with this opportunity to become a global messenger. Finally, to the lady who is responsible for starting Special Olympics, whom I had the honor of seeing at the National Games, thank you, Eunice Kennedy Shriver.